Hey there all craft beer lovers, this is the Cider Fanatic from the Cider Fanatic Review channel. It's brewski time, we have a beer on the table, and I have today a collaboration beer, a Swedish and American collaboration, which seems to be very very interesting. So guys, we have from a Benchwarmers Brewing Company in Helsingborg, Sweden, in the south southern part of Sweden. Uh, just 20 minutes away from Denmark and we have with we have cycle brewing company out of uh, Florida in the United States this is their collaboration New England IPA team freedom it looks pretty cool let's go quickly into the specifics as you can see here it is a 440 milliliter can and it clocks in at 6.8 percent ABV Contains barley malt, wheat malt, that's basically it. So don't have a canning date on this one, unfortunately. If you look at the bottom here, I don't know if the camera can detect it, but it's we got the number 12 there. So I mean, it could be, uh, I picked this one up last week. Uh, it could be, uh, you know month 12 that is december because we're in the 29th of december today or it could be the 12th of december so i mean either way it is a fresh can supposedly anyway it should be very fresh uh, so yeah guys uh, it is a collaboration beer between bench warmers this is my first product product from these guys and from cycle brewing in united states uh, gonna say i love the artwork here Cool colors, got the American flag there. There you got the American Eagle with the Swedish flag. Pretty cool, guys. Let's go ahead and crack this one open and see what we have. There we go. Let's get it right out. So I'm pouring pretty aggressively here. Uh, so yeah, guys, this is a New England style IPA, which is a kind of a uh, subgroup of IPAs. And I mean, what you pretty much have, let's stop right there. So what you pretty much have with a uh, New England IPA is a m much more hazier beer, much more emphasis on fruitiness, juiciness, and a little bit less on the hoppiness of the beer. So let's get a quick look here. Pretty massive foam there, but I poured pretty ag aggressively. Let's take a look at the beer. It's light golden, very hazy there. Yeah, I'm back. I'm sorry guys, I was a little bit interrupted here for a moment. So yeah, as you can see, we have a very golden, lovely light golden, hazy beer. A lot of foam there. Let's get a whiff on this one and see what we have. Mm. Oh yeah, guys. Very, very lovely uh, smell of tropical fruits there. Pineapple. Mm. Not so much pine though, but pineapple. Uh, definitely some uh, mango. Some uh, Maybe some peach in there. Smells absolutely lovely guys smells absolutely lovely. So with that said, let's dive right in and see what we have Cheers guys and here's to Team freedom New England IPA from bench warmers and cycle brewing So, mm, it, it's a pretty good beer, definitely, you definitely got some uh, hoppiness in there, but more so kind of in the back end of the taste, pretty much right up front you do get some tropical notes, but to my surprise they are a little bit subdued actually. Mm. It's also a kind of a little bit of a lighter mouthfeel. 
so I mean with a New England IPA you definitely should have a little bit more heft to it a little bit more juiciness let, let me give it another go here guys <clears throat> yeah so I'm gonna pour the rest of it in while I'm yakking at you so yeah guys a uh, little bit light on the flavor uh, strangely enough I was expecting a little bit more uh, juiciness and tr because the smell was very tropical and nice uh, very much mangoey peachy pineapple -y. but now uh, it was Kind of the taste is a little bit more subdued, but you do get some tropical notes in there. A little bit of uh, pine in the end, a little bit of bitterness, but not too much. So let me get a final sip, guys, and proceed to rating this rating this beer. <clears throat> so yeah, guys. Uh, Team Freedom New England IPA from Benchwarmers Brewing Company and Cycle Brewing. So this is a kind of a one-off. Uh, they just brew this this once, you know. But it is a their collaboration beer. I mean, it's a nice New England IPA, but I do miss a little bit more of that that juiciness, you know, that kind of really tropical, juicy, uh, thicker mouthfeel. Uh, it is quite light on the body, but it, it is nicely hazy, lovely golden color there. Uh, yeah, so there's a, and there's a kind of a murkiness in the aftertaste. Uh, so, but no, overall, not a bad beer, guys. Definitely not a bad beer. So it was really nice to try trying this out. Uh, I have another one from Bench Warmers Brewing Company, an IPA, which I will uh, review soon. And there are, of course, a lot of more beers and ciders and what have you on its way. So check out those, ch wait for those things, guys. I mean, uh, check out my videos, thumb me up if you like to review. Please comment, have you tried it? Uh, have you tried anything else from the Cycle Brewing Company in uh, Florida? Uh, <coughs> Feel free, guys, to just comment. I'll give this one a 3 out of 5. This is a 3 out of 5 from the Cider Fanatic. Take care, guys. See you next time.